Hello everyone, it's Eric. I've been ranking some rap battle series such as Discord Rap Battle, Snake Bite Rap Battles, and Freshie Canal. So it was only natural and logical that I eventually got to ERB. Epic Rap Battles of History has 86 battles, easily the most I've done so far. So ranking them all is tough, but it's always fun to see more rankings of them. So let's do this right now. Before we get into it though, I need to point out, I love ERB. I think all but like 10 of these are pretty enjoyable at least. The main thing this ranking is based on is just how much I enjoyed the battles. Each analysis is just trying to be a justification for the placements, but it's not going to be consistent logic the whole way through. And besides the top and bottom 10, frankly, if you would put an ERB within 20 spots of mine, we more or less agree. I think I'm fairly easily entertained by most battles in the series. There's a lot of things that go into praise you may hate, and things I may criticize that you like. It all depends on taste. This was hard to make with there being so many battles, but it was fun, and I just want to show some love and respect for this series that I really love. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the ranking. Number 86 is John Lennon vs Bill O'Reilly. The first is the worst for me. I think some like this one more than I would, but I feel like the fact that it was the first means it makes the most sense that most stuff is going to be the weakest. There are no great lines, very few are even decent. Visually I don't like it because the close-ups are kind of uncomfortable, the performances are easily the weakest in the whole series, it's just the worst. Number 85 is Sarah Palin vs Lady Gaga. This one is honestly weirdly more charming than I remember, even though the writing is kind of garbage and it's barely a step up. Not much else to say, you all know it's one of the worst. Number 84 is Adam vs Eve. This is a frustrating one. The flow is pretty strong, I like the beat quite a bit, but the writing is so bad. Both sides are quite annoying, and the only line I enjoy is the yo did I give up a rib for this one. That one's kind of funny. The rest is just not enjoyable. Number 83 is Gandalf vs Dumbledore. There's definitely some wasted potential, everyone's mentioned that before. Most of the jokes are just about Dumbledore's orientation. There are some fun visual effects, and I like that prophecy line, but the rest ranges from mid to infuriating, so definitely near the bottom. Number 82 is Genghis Khan vs the Easter Bunny. I have a bit of a soft spot for this one. Easter Bunny might be the worst rapper in ERB, but there's a decent flow throughout this one, the introduction bit is funny, and Genghis Khan is honestly kinda solid. So it's not the worst out there. Number 81 is Batman vs Sherlock Holmes. Batman is bad in this, you've all mentioned it before, this is a very common take, but I also feel like the Sherlock flow is kind of off at points and I don't love listening to it. The beat and atmosphere are both kind of dark, but the lyrics don't quite fit with that tone. For me, the highlights are Robin's bit being quite fun, and some of the Watson bits are funny, so there is merit here, but the bad parts are definitely some of my least favorite in the whole series. Number 80 is Bruce Banner vs Bruce Jenner. This is unfortunate, I love some aspects. The visuals are great, compared to the rest so far at least, Hulk is quite hilarious, Banner has some pretty strong stuff, but then Bruce Jenner is mediocre, and Caitlyn just drags on with no substance and brings down the whole battle, and there is a good reason why this one gets so many dislikes, even if it's not quite the very bottom for me. Number 79 is Miley Cyrus vs Joan of Arc. Not particularly bad, it's just kind of underwhelming in basically every regard. The performances are fine, there are one or two good lines or flows here and there, but the battle just kind of comes and goes. Number 78 is Rick Grimes vs Walter White. This is an aggressively mediocre one, with a kind of odd Walter White performance and some poor flows in writing. I don't watch either show I should point out, but I did ask a close friend who is a Breaking Bad fan if I missed anything good in terms of Breaking Bad material, and they said no. Number 77 is Nice Peter vs Epic Lloyd. I like this one a decent bit, but it's also not really great. There are some fun lines, not many newer ERB fans would understand them though. I know I didn't for a while. And I do like all the characters appearing at least. That's pretty fun. Number 76 is Ellen vs Oprah. Kind of overhated. The Oprah performance is awesome, and the beat is quite good. There are a handful of lines I like. The Dr. Phil appearance is also funny because Lloyd nails the voice. I don't love the Ellen portrayal, but I don't hate it either. And of course the main criticism here is how the battle is not aged too well, because more Ellen exposing has happened since then. But in this case, I don't care enough about Ellen to complain, and I definitely think this particular battle, I think more about what it is than what it isn't. 
but the Ellen stuff is still kind of just okay and happens. Number 75 is Darth Vader vs. Adolf Hitler 1. Do note, impact on the series as a whole does not play a role in the ranking. I don't really get the love for this one. There are two good lines for me, and a lot of parts just don't sound great. I think performances are kind of funny, and the battle is a slight improvement over the other mediocre ones, but it doesn't really have the charm of other Season 1 battles, and I feel like the lines are not strong enough to really justify a high ranking. Number 74 is the Wright Brothers vs. the Mario Brothers. Huge quality gap between the two sides here. The Wright Brothers are better than several on this list. They sound great, strong flow, provide a lot of solid lines. Mario Brothers are not faithfully portrayed, and they have some really stupid lines. The Tanuki one is good, and I like the Kitty Hawk wordplay, but Mario Brothers really hold this one back. Number 73 is Cleopatra vs. Marilyn Monroe. One line does not make a battle good. Everybody does talk about that miscarriage line, and it's not that crazy in my opinion. There's harsher subject matter diss in the barbiturate line for me, and this one isn't even that clever. There are very few decent lines here, I will say both actresses do a great job, but the video is kind of uncomfortable and I don't enjoy revisiting this one all that much. Number 72 is Nice Peter vs Epic Lloyd 2. An improvement over the first, it has more personal disses and they focus on ERB more. There are some funny moments, I like how there's a lot of backgrounds from previous battles, and some of the digs may be concerned about behind the scenes drama being real, so this is a solid battle overall. Number 71 is Christopher Columbus vs Captain Kirk. This one is quite charming. Columbus has performed decently, and I like how Lloyd pokes fun at Captain Kirk's speech. The flow is a bit too slow at a lot of points, and there aren't a ton of great lines, but it is a fun time. Number 70 is David Copperfield vs Harry Houdini. I appreciate this one more than I used to, but I still think it's underwhelming. I do not like the Houdini performance very much, a lot of lines just are not that great. I do think Copperfield has very strong flow, and his closer is nice. The Chris Angel cameo is also hilarious, and there are some clever visuals, but the whole thing is just kind of decent. Number 69 is Kim Jong-il vs Hulk Hogan. Charm carries this one. Based on quality, it should not be this high up. The video might be the worst in the whole series, the Kim Jong-il performance is bad, and few lines have any substance. But the Kim Jong performance is at least laughable at certain points. Every Hulk Hogan line is absolutely hilarious for a variety of reasons, and Macho Man gives the genuine best verse with a fun performance. I thoroughly enjoyed this one, but common sense holds it back a little bit. Number 68 is Vader vs Hitler 2. Definite improvement over the original. Hitler is a pretty insane verse, the performance has also drastically improved, Vader only has that Yahtzee line and the closer in terms of fun stuff, so the opponent carries, and it makes this a decent battle, but one where I wish both rappers were good. Number 67 is Trump vs Biden. This one's quite one-sided. Trump destroys. This is not a popular opinion, I believe, but I thought Biden was definitely the weaker one. Pete doesn't look or sound like him, the only thing I really like is that sly grin he does in the one stutter moments. And his verses felt longer, but the good lines were limited to the Paris and Putin ones. On the other hand, Trump has made a character, with funny exaggerated stuff and several memorable lines, with much better disses. I wish they were more willing to have fun with Biden and focus on the entertainment aspect of the battle more. I should also note, the difference between lines that age well and age poorly, it kind of cancels out, so that didn't really influence the ranking too much. Number 66 is Doc Brown vs Doctor Who. I don't watch Doctor Who, so the focus on Back to the Future references is fine with me. The battle is decently funny, particularly the Marty McFly appearance and that ending gag. There were a few good disses in here, but everything else just kind of feels okay and it ends a bit quickly. Number 65 is Vlad the Impaler vs Count Dracula. I like this one, but I don't revisit it much either. The performances are strong in their own ways, one being kind of creepy and the other being just fun. Some visuals are awesome. I like a lot of the lines for being silly puns, not as many great disses though. This one is a bit more of a it comes and goes. Number 64 is Abe Lincoln vs Chuck Norris. I used to think Lincoln was great and Chuck Norris was bad, now I think they're a bit more even. The verbal John Will Smooth line and the first couple from Chuck's second verse are solid, and Lincoln has that weird chest hair line and the self diss on his assassination. But a lot of his other lines are quite funny, and unfortunately, the Chuck Norris jokes do hold it back, 
I wish there were less of them or better ones, and this could have gone a bit higher. Number 63 is Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. An improvement over the Biden one, because Hillary is given more personality, though she doesn't have as many memorable lines for me. My favorite is that whole Rodham Gotham scheme, just because it's funny. Trump, I feel, has more noteworthy ones, with some parts of his verse being kind of scary in an in-character funny way. Lincoln taking a side has been criticized. For me, it just kind of happens. I like a few of the Lincoln lines, and it's always funny to hear that eagle closer. But it's definitely not a great battle. A decent one, though. Number 62 is Master Chief vs. Leonidas. At this point, I feel bad for putting good battles at low places. This is a strong one. I like it a lot. Leonidas is a great performance, and the six-year-old son line is hilarious. Master Chief has some awesome lines and schemes. I especially love how Leonidas' wife was there for a brief cameo. It was such a funny moment. And this one is worth watching even for someone like me who does not know anything about Halo. Number 61 is Guy Fox vs. Che Guevara. This one is definitely one-sided. Che is not that good. Decent performance for sure, and the vibe is sometimes enjoyable, but he has no great lines and only a few good ones, with V for Very Bad Hat being a very bad line. Guy Fawkes is awesome. Not a consistent performance necessarily, but a fun one with several awesome lines, especially that final verse. The visual of him setting up the explosives is also quite awesome. Guy Fawkes just kind of carries here. Number 60 is Hitler vs. Vader 3. The best of the trilogy, it continues that trend of having at least one bad rapper. Besides that threatening final line, Hitler is nothing. But Vader is insane. The awesome opening scheme and the fired up stuff is awesome, blending fun energy with harsh lines. And I think Boba Fett was also awesome, with a hype beaten flow, and the Boba T line not only being funny, but aging spectacularly. And Vader nodding in the background, massively one-sided though, because this part is very fun, but it does make me wish that the other parts were not as lackluster. Number 59 is George Washington vs. William Wallace. Wallace is definitely the better of the two here. I love that Washington Monument line, the performance is quite great, and his parts sound quite intense and allow for strong flows. Washington is given a bit more goofy performance that I don't think works that well. His bragging about being wealthier seems weird to me as well, but at least he has a few funny moments, especially these stroke guys. Washington's alright, it's a good battle. Number 58 is Ronald McDonald vs. The Burger King. I enjoy silly puns, and this battle delivers. A lot of enjoyable lines here, even if they are not the strongest disses. I like that fourth wall break with Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd, and both parts are played quite well. The backgrounds are also unique and abstract, but they're quite awesome. And then Wendy's a pretty solid performance, but not a lot of good lines. I kinda like that play place one, but the rest of it just happens. The battle is not mind-blowing, but it is a fun one pretty much the whole way through. Number 57 is Tesla vs Edison. This is the original Bruce Banner vs Bruce Jenner, because they focus so much on saying that Tesla won and that Edison stole stuff. And while there is some truth to that, I wish there was a bit less focus on that. Edison is fun and eccentric with awesome lines, and I wish Tesla had more about anything else besides just you stole from me to help balance it out. That said, his best line is that he's impeccably dressed, and that is at least a pretty funny one. Number 56 is Ben Franklin vs. Billy Mays. Very fun early battle. Ben Franklin has some phenomenal lines, especially the death or taxes one, the one easy payment thing, and call me Arthur Miller because it's death of a salesman. Billy Mays has a great performance and solid visuals, but does not have good lines. And then Vince offer gives very funny lines and an aggressive performance. Very charming battle, much better than most other Season 1 stuff. Number 55 is Romeo and Juliet vs. Bonnie and Clyde. Many would put this higher, which is fair. Juliet does go off, though maybe not as much as some say for me. I like every performance for sure. I should note that in general, I just don't like Romeo and Juliet as a story, so retelling that story was not my favorite gag. But I like the flows, and the bad lines are definitely outweighed by the good, so the battle is very good overall. Number 54 is Thanos vs. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer destroyed here. Lloyd looks and sounds kind of off as Thanos, and he has very few decent lines, and those are counteracted with Fortnite's dopest dancer and such. Oppenheimer has an awesome vibe for the most part, but he still lands some funny lines like the MCU pun, the Squirrel Girl one, and the Drax reference, and I think it balances out quite nicely. Definitely a battle with a good mix of great and weak elements that makes it 
an okay battle, good for sure, but not great like it really could have been. Number 53 is Ragnar Lodbrok versus Richard the Lionheart. I know little of either guy, but I enjoy the battle quite a bit. The visuals are wonderful, I love the backgrounds in it, and I like how it looks in general. Richard is fun, and he has a few decent lines, especially the Lion King one, and Ragnar has more disses that are quite solid, so it makes for a nice time overall. Number 52 is Shaka Zulu vs Julius Caesar. I do want to put this one higher. Caesar has some awesome lines, especially the Closer, the Shakespeare one, and the Poison Spit one. And I like that war theme going through the whole thing. Both performances, especially Zulu, are strong. And they reference the Warriors, which is a reference I've never heard anyone mention yet, but when he says Zulu Warriors, that's a really funny reference. And overall, it's a great battle. I just prefer 51 others. Number 51 is George Carlin vs. Richard Pryor. The weakest royale, for sure. Carlin is portrayed fine, but I don't very much like his verse. Pryor is way more fun, and I love that, hmm, that's funny, line. The Cosby joke goes on for way too long, but at least Joan Rivers spends some good time on other characters. A few of her Cosby lines are good, but she has a great performance and a few harsh disses. And then for me, the highlight is Robin Williams. He does like those great disses, but Lloyd kills it and it makes the battle so much fun. A flawed royale, but at least it ends on a pretty high note. Number 50 is Napoleon vs. Napoleon. This is a very charming one. Both performances are quite awesome, and the short jokes all hit, except for one in my eyes. I love that roller coaster one particularly, and this one is also visually creative and fun. The closing couplet is definitely iconic, and as far as early battle goes, it is definitely great. Number 49 is Beaver vs. Beethoven, another charming early battle. It gets hate for Beaver being annoying, but I don't know, I always found it very funny. I like both performances a lot. I think Bieber, I know they were trying to make him bad, but that makes it kind of enjoyable. The beat is also so nice, and while Bieber didn't have the great bars, he did have one good diss, and Beethoven made up for that with a top-notch final verse. Number 48 is Goku vs Superman. Ugh, basically every spot from like, here to 30, I struggle to rank these, they're all so fun. This one is short but sweet. Lloyd as Superman is great, with strong flows and rhyme schemes. I especially love that delivery of his laugh at the start of his second verse with the Haha, your rapping is weaker than your fight scenes. That's one of the all-time great deliveries in ERB for me. Goku is also pretty good, particularly that closer. The battle does feel like it's hopping on a trend a bit, but I still like it a lot. Number 47 is James Bond vs. Awesome Powers. There's some extraordinary stuff here. It just doesn't all speak to me. The beats are great. Visuals, phenomenal. Performances, all tops here. I love the energy on the Austin Powers side, though his visuals and lyrics are a little uncomfortable for me personally. I haven't seen any of the films from any of these people, but there are solid lines I did understand, and the beat switches are honestly spectacular. I'd love to put this higher, I just get less enjoyment out of it compared to a lot of others. Number 46 is Elon Musk vs. Mark Zuckerberg. The middle verses here are great. Zuckerberg is a catchy one with a great impression, and while it is inconsistent a bit, its highs are sensational highs. Musk has a utterly hilarious second verse. There is a lot of good lines in this one. There's also just some funny visual gags here. I like Zuckerberg starting in court. I like Lloyd being dressed as Captain Picard for just a brief moments. The big issue here for me is Elon Musk. It does not sound like him very much. But the lines do capture that right energy and make this quite a blast. Number 45 is Blackbeard vs Al Capone. There's a lot to like in this one. Great flow the whole way through. I like the performances a lot. Quite a few lines are memorable, particularly when they're telling each other that they have a strategy to make money off the other's misfortune. Some lines are weaker and can get repetitive, and the Edward Kenway inclusion is a little jarring, but it's still a pretty awesome battle. Number 44 is Bob Ross vs Paolo Picasso. Kind of short and quaint, but Pete and Lloyd nail both roles. The beat and flow are smooth, quite a few lines are iconic, I like the Apollo name bit a lot honestly. And it's a fun one, it just leaves a little to be desired in terms of that disc content. Number 43 is Bruce Lee vs Clint Eastwood. There's some otherworldly stuff here. I love the fight scenes in the video, there's a ton of great lines, particularly with Clint Eastwood being the most offensive rapper in ERB history. The closer is a tad overrated but his I even squint better than you line is utterly insane. 
I think this one just doesn't quite stay with me like others, but man, is there some great stuff. Number 42 is Freddy Krueger vs. Wolverine. Very one-sided, Wolverine has stellar verses, an aggressive performance, tons of strong lines. I love the references that Jason and Edward Scissorhands, Wolverine is a top tier season 6 rapper. But Freddy Krueger, he's limited to that Jean Grey line and a few funny deliveries, so Wolverine and visuals carry this one to a decent spot. Number 41 is Dr. Seuss vs. William Shakespeare. This is a similar issue to the previous battle, where a certain rapper holds it back. I like Shakespeare's first verse a lot. There's a creative use of iambic pentameter, and his fast verse is also impressive and possibly the craziest flow in the series. And even if not all of it is substance, I like it. Cat in the Hat's my favorite here, for another great flow, but tons of funny references to both authors' works. The things are what hold it back. They have one or two okay references here, but the flows are poor, and I find them a bit annoying, and they hold it back, though maybe not as much as it would for some other people. Number 40 is Terminator vs. Robocop. Visually, stunning. I love the costumes, the stop motion is cool, and all the other effects are great. The performances are nice, and some of that faster flow is fantastic. Some writing is a bit weaker, with Terminator quotes not being incorporated that cleverly, aside from I'll be back. But it's still, great battle. Number 39 is Mr. T vs. Mr. Rogers. Another blast of an early battle, with a lot to enjoy. Mr. T is a strong performance, and I love that slightly creepy nature of Mr. Rogers in this one. The AT reference with Lloyd being all the other main characters is hilarious, the breakdancing is sick, and I like everything about Mr. Rogers' second verse. It's just a very enjoyable battle. Number 38 is Donald Trump vs. Ebenezer Scrooge. I'm grateful this one exists. It's fascinating to see an interpretation of Trump pre-election. The Kanye inclusion is also interesting, because it aged so well in 2020, but now it feels really weird. For actual battle aspects, I like the verses from all three of the ghosts, and the Scrooge parts in between are fun. I like the Christmas Carol story a lot, and it works well here. Trump's verse is far from stellar, but all around, a well put together battle I think is a bit overhated. Number 37 is Mother Teresa vs. Sigmund Freud. This battle has some sensational highs. Freud's first verse is utterly amazing. And Teresa has tons of good lines. I like how they pull off an upbeat battle with these figures. My main issues here are that Freud's opening couplet is great, but then his second verse opening couplet is really weak. And Teresa does not have a lot of variety in what she's dissing, but there are still some great punches. Number 36 is Ash Ketchum vs. Charles Darwin. There are low points here. Some lines like the candy wrap one are not my favorite, and I don't love Ash's voice, but wow, there's some great stuff. Visually stellar. A plethora of iconic lines, particularly gotta catch them all, you're so ineffective you couldn't even turn 11, and for me, the masterful naturalist scheme is beyond stellar. I recognize that there's not a lot of Pokemon references here, so it's relatively accessible and service level for that kind of thing, but I do not care about Pokemon, so this is not a flaw for me. Number 35 is Lara Croft vs. Indiana Jones. The newest ERV for this list, it's grown on me quite a bit. There is one couplet in Indiana's first verse I don't enjoy, but the rest is all great. And the other three verses have a lot of good references through the Indiana Jones stuff. I like Let's Cut to the Chase, Sword vs. Gun, Toxic Date, The Uncharted Ones, You Tried Alien Skulls and Chose Poorly, and Mull Around with a Heart Indy Taking a Beating. The flow is solid the whole way through, the performances are both awesome, particularly Lara Croft, and I like those costume changes quite a bit. The visuals are strong here. The only issue I have is that there's a few too many lines about Lara's appearance, but some, such as the girl's polygon wild bit, land very hard. Definitely a strong one that I assume appeals more to Indiana Jones fans than Tomb Raider, but still, I like it. Number 34 is Mozart vs. Skrillex. Definitely a classic. I love the beat on both sides, and the Skrillex visuals and sound editing are quite awesome. He has some solid lines too, puts up a decent fight, but I love how Mozart is just so annoyed with him, providing the accurate line about Skrillex being forgotten soon after the battle. The only line I don't like is Skrillex saying no one even knows you, but still, great one. Number 33 is Frank Sinatra vs. Freddie Mercury. Freddie won for me, but Sinatra was still entertaining. I like Lloyd's performance a lot, and the closing line and bicycle race ones are quite good, and Sammy Davis being there was funny. But Freddie Mercury has done so well. Pete looks and sounds the part. I love that song part that gets mixed in so many times. The visuals are fascinating and cool. 
and he's just amazing, and it's a great tribute to Queen. Number 32 is Jeff Bezos vs. Mansa Musa. Very fun newer battle. Screwface Gene as Mansa Musa, fantastic. It needs a ton of great lines, particularly the camel one, and basically everything in his second verse. He easily wins, but Bezos was given a fun, eccentric performance that's basically a better version of how they did Elon Musk. And it delivers in nearly every way, all of the lines are hilarious for me the way he says them. It is a few of my favorite jokes, I love his opening couplet, and the rebuttal on his divorce being the funniest flex I've ever heard. Super strong battle. Number 31 is Moses vs Santa Claus. Snoop Dogg being in this, that's kinda crazy. Some have criticized his flow, which is fair. He has some weak parts, but others he is sliding and it sounds fantastic. I like the Geo single D line a lot, and he has some clever ways of dissing Santa's size, and the Let My People Go one is also very funny. Santa is also good, and Lloyd as the elves is fun. The battle offers a lot more than just Snoop Dogg, so it earned a pretty good spot. Number 30 is John McClane versus John Wick versus John Rambo. Right here, the list gets way harder. All the top 30 are awesome. I enjoy this 3 man royale quite a bit. McLean has plenty of solid lines, and his Mario references is better than the entirety of the Mario Bros. verses in their own battle. Wick has excellent rhyme schemes and wordplay that I thoroughly enjoy, and Rambo is just funny. I definitely enjoy that air vent line quite a lot, and the final bit with all three going back and forth is fun, very fun. The structure is sometimes weird here, but I think all of the rappers are entertaining and memorable, so they earned a top 30 spot. Number 29 is Jacques Cousteau vs. Steve Irwin. One of the best season 6 battles, there are so many memorable lines here. Not many insane disses, but tons of hilarious puns and such. Particularly the bit with Irwin dissing Cousteau about looking like an animal, Embrace your friend's nature and quietly surrender, Outback Mistake House, and best of all, the scuba acronym bit, and Nazi 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 Oi Oi Oi. That bit in particular is just utterly hilarious. Both Pete and Lloyd are excellent in their respective roles, the flow is catchy the whole way through, this is a very, very enjoyable project. Definitely a bit underrated. Number 28 is Tony Hawk vs Wayne Gretzky. Another battle with consistently awesome flow, this one is strong all the way through. Performances are great, the visuals are quite cool here, and it's an athlete battle. I think it's done very well with the skateboarding and the hockey stuff. It's catchy, a lot of solid lines here, and even someone who doesn't care about hockey at all can appreciate the clever writing, and this one is less underrated but still maybe a little bit. Number 27 is Stephen King vs Edgar Allan Poe. Super awesome author battle, better than the last Watsky author one in fact. The opening verse has some strong lines and a great Watsky performance. The fast verse, while short, is good. And then Stephen King all around is awesome. I love how they fully embrace the fact that he just kind of stole out to Hollywood, giving him a verse with tons of great references to his works and some insane flow and rhyme schemes. King's first verse is the highlight for me, but the whole battle is atmospheric and fun. Number 26 is Albert Einstein vs Stephen Hawking. The highest season 1 battle here. I feel bad not being able to put anything from a season higher. But everything about season 1 battles is just weaker than the later ones for me. This one has a decent quality gap in the rappers as well. Einstein has few very funny and solid lines. His flow is kind of too slow unfortunately, and it makes his lines seem a bit awkward. But Hawking is phenomenal here. The autotune is a hilarious idea, and his verses sound beautiful. Some parts are just pleasant to listen to, and of course there's the iconic 10 million 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 part. A fun battle with charm, but more merit than the others in the season, and I understand if you would rank it much much higher. Number 25 is Wonder Woman vs Stevie Wonder. You're about to see a lot of season 4 and 5 bangers here. The battle is fun and I like everything about it. Creative visuals, both performances are very good. Lily Singh is solid as Wonder Woman, and T-Pain is just awesome and has such fun in his role. The battle sounds great, particularly Stevie's first verse, that start part, is top tier ERB. The lyrics are creative, and even those that aren't that creative are still quite fun, so the battle is solid all around, making for a great overall package. Number 24 is Lewis and Clark vs Bill and Ted. Another where everything is great. The video is fun, I love that whole Sacagawea story thing going on in the background, the battle sounds awesome, the casting is excellent, great having the right and link back, and Pete and Lloyd as Bill and Ted is just such a fun thing to have. The lyrics are kind of phenomenal, not every line is perfect, 
but most references of the historical figure's lands, and I have to say, the part where they reference Lewis's death is one of the best lines in ERB history for how it's set up. Awesome battle. Number 23 is Jack the Ripper vs Hannibal Lecter. Such an atmospheric one. I don't think the lyrics are that mind-blowing and they hold it back a little, but the vibe is great, the beat fits well, Lloyd and Dan Bull kill their roles, pun not intended. I love that rhyme scheme that's in the first Jack verse, and the lines where the killers fully embrace their dark tendencies are awesome. It's a battle that really just sucks you in, even if it doesn't have as much substance as some others. Number 22 is Ghostbusters vs Mythbusters. This battle has more flaws than some below it, I don't think Marshmallow Man brings a whole lot of good lines, and in general there are not a ton of disses necessarily. Fortunately, the battle is one of the best to listen to in the whole series. The first verse has fun references and a great energy, true to the Ghostbusters. I love the closing line of the first verse, and the Mythbusters first verse is the highlight for me. Adam and Jamie are harmonized so well, and their lines just sound amazing. The Positron line is good, because it's scientifically accurate. And the next Ghostbusters verse keeps that same vibe they had originally, and the addition of the other Mythbusters is a hilarious touch. Based on many things, this should not be so close to top 20, but the highs are so sensational and the audio is so well done, I can't help it. Number 21 is Gordon Ramsay vs Julia Child. I want to put this in top 20, it's so spectacular. The beat is intense and makes us feel like one of the most hype up matchups even though it's really not. The visuals are awesome. I love that higher production on Gordon's side, and it is fun to watch. The references to HK are quite fun, and I like how they do a commercial break gag near the end of Gordon's last verse. The lyrics are memorable, and I love that writing. Food puns are often really hard to do in a rap battle without feeling obvious like you're cheesier than a quesadilla or something like that, but here there's so many good ones, particularly the sous vide one. I guess the disses against Child are not that versatile, and Lloyd is a little off as Gordon Ramsay but the battle has a lot to love. Number 20 is George R.R. R. Martin vs. J.R.R. Tolkien. This battle of two authors whose works I have no knowledge of is still awesome. The battle is given a grand feel, beat and visuals both. I think the lines are quite memorable, Martin has a few solid zingers, but Tolkien destroys an already great Martin performance. Tolkien's book sale line is hilarious, prose of a pro is funny, the pirate line is good, the smart rebuttal of his fantasy stories, referencing C.S. Lewis and Led Zeppelin, the closing lines, this is so awesome to listen to. It's among the very best battles where one rapper outshines the other, no doubt. Number 19 is Thomas Jefferson vs. Frederick Douglass. Ever since I first saw this one, I have adored so many aspects of it. Jefferson's first verse is one of my favorites in all of ERB. Short on this is maybe, but absolutely all lines in it are gold. Particularly, I'm so down with revolutions I invented the swivel chair, and the subtle not to mention third president thing, being very true to Jefferson. Douglas then gets a verse of similar quality, with a bigger focus on disses, and there's some phenomenal visuals here. The photo part is particularly awesome to look at. Both verses allow me to realize the beat has a strong contrast, but it sounds beautiful on both sides. The next verse is where I should address what you're all thinking. At this point, it focuses on telling a story about how Jefferson's really not that great, and he did evil things involving slavery, but honestly, I don't mind. I think it's still quite good. He has solid rebuttals, and I think the lines still stay true to his character, where it does feel like this could happen in a rap battle. And the next verse still has some phenomenal stuff. I love the St. Louisiana Man, I ain't buying it, and I will admit that Six Babies line does have a poor flow, and the pause Douglas has is a little weird, but frankly, the whole slavery bad story everyone criticizes here, it never bothered me and the issues didn't even come to mind until I saw others mentioning them. I think even with that main message, the battle is still intact as a rap battle, and I might call this the most underrated ERB. Others can hate it, but I'll be sitting back enjoying every rewatch I get. Number 18 is MLK vs Gandhi. Short but sweet. I feel this one is a favorite for many, and I can see why. Key and Peel are insane in their roles. Key as Gandhi is insanely good, and as some of the best ERB lines such as leave your thoughts in the door like the real Martin Luther, boycott those grits they did with some spinach, and of course that closer. Peel also brings an awesome and powerful energy to MLK, with a few great lines of his own, such as non-violence and his own closer. The pathos of his ending is great, it works so well, and the battle earned its iconography, I just wish it was a bit longer for more material overall. Number 17 is Artist vs TMNT. 
I'm under the impression people don't particularly enjoy this one, and it has that same issue of feeling too short as MLK and Gandhi, but much like Douglas vs. Jefferson, the issues that never really bothered me. The artist's first verse is also tops here. Catchy, all costumes and visuals are fun, every performance excellent, and there are so many awesome lines. My favorite is probably, I'm a rap god and you can't quite touch me, and everything Da Vinci says. This is a groovy verse, and I want to believe most people like this part. The turtle verse is weaker, but it's still groovy. The turtle costume is awesome. I like the opening bit about not rushing to violence, and Donnie's burn is funny. Then the artists have another hilarious short ending quip, and the turtles have some fun stuff of their own in the final verse. And yes, the battle is short, but the good qualities outshine Gandhi vs MLK's for me, so the length is more forgivable than MLK vs Gandhi by a little bit. Number 16 is Deadpool vs Boba Fett. Insane battle. Everything phenomenal. Tons of great lines, the middle verses have funny deliveries like who you call on schizophrenic and the missile backpack part, and Boba Fett has good disses, and the battle has some pleasant sounding lines such as that's bananas, I do damage when I brandish my katanas, and I come equipped with a full set of sick Mandalorian flows, and outside of writing, Deadpool performance is so extraordinary, and Boba Fett's quite good as well. The beat is catchy but intense, I'm nodding my head every time, the video is awesome, ERB got some talented dancers to do the body acting, the whole thing is a complete package, and honestly, a great prelude to what was going to come in Season 5. Number 15 is Michael Jordan vs Muhammad Ali. The better Key and Peele battle, as it has the good qualities of MLK vs Gandhi, but also packing in more. There are tons of insane disses, particularly when talking about corporate tie-ins, all of Ali's first verse, and the double dribble one. Once again, Key and Peele kill it. The beat is particularly awesome, allowing for some catchier flows, but still a laid-back feel that kind of fits. My only issue is the closer line because I like Space Jam, but still, the line aged very well. Number 14 is Barack Obama vs Mitt Romney. The best election battle by far. This one is such fun. The candidates are made fun of both, so that's kind of an immediate improvement. Lloyd doesn't necessarily do an impression of Romney, but I still find him funny. I like Raw Ryan stronger than my jawline, and you got hitched to the female version of Patrick Ewing. And then Obama is insanely humorous. The impression is great, and it really feels like Obama could have said some of these things. Nearly all of his jokes are top tier. The cheesecake one, the stimulus package one, and two terms. He also has a few harsh disses in there, and I like how the battle just kind of becomes a mildly immature debate at a certain point, and as they get the most childish, Abe Lincoln appears, with an excellent verse effectively dissing both opponents. The battle is not mind-blowing in a lot of aspects, but it is comedy gold, and I love it. Number 13 is Joker vs Pennywise. Spectacular battle. Everything marvelous. It stays close the whole way through in terms of rapper quality. Both sides throw awesome disses at each other, and there's plenty of funny jokes. The best lines are definitely the Heath Ledger one and Ask Robin If I Drop Bars for Me. And there are tons of other great zingers. I love You Lost to a Turtle That Wasn't Even a Ninja. The clever use of Why So Serious. We Live in a Society. Call Me Arkham Asylum I'm Crazy with Bars. I Go Mark Ham with Ill Zingers. Several awesome lines, and Pennywise has given some excellent flows. The performances are both amazing. Nice Peter seems to be going for the animated Mark Hamill Joker, and it's translated into live action so well. And the visuals are probably the best live action ones. The costumes are awesome, effects are impressive, and the individual styles are unique and cool. My only major complaints is the closing line is not very strong, but frankly this only ranks lower because I like 12 others better. Number 12 is Jim Henson vs. Stan Lee. I didn't really get this one when I first saw it. It didn't stick with me much, but rewatching for this vid, it's excellent. The first verse is spun but unspectacular. I enjoy Henson's verse a lot though, Kermit is a nice gag there, and the Jack Kirby line is enjoyable. The rhymes are nice in that one as well, and then Stan Lee is a super fun intense verse, and the Mr. Hooper line is so evil and I love it. And then that reconciliation is super nice, I like that part a lot, and it seems like it's going to be a wholesome ending. And then, the video turns into why it earned a high spot. The Walt Disney verse. This verse is not necessarily the best for a balanced rap battle, but it has perfect energy. The performance is eccentric and aggressive, and there are some unbelievable lines. The sweatshop wordplay is good, Disney's thinking can make a mouse gigantic, and then you have maybe the best line of the whole series. I'm owning this battle, in fact I own this whole series. No verses age better than this one either. Disney verse really is as good as people say, 
and few ERB versus can invest you quite like this one. Number 11 is Rasputin versus Stalin. I feel bad not being able to put this in the top 10. It was super close, but it sits at 11. Rasputin and Stalin are both good. I like the performances a lot, and they have some nice lines, and the flows are awesome. But Lenin is what kicks the battle into high gear, with an awesome beat drop, leading into some top tier nice Peter performance, and some similarly good lines, but better ones. And then we get Gorbachev, easily the star of the already great battle. Gorbachev is so fun, every line is great, I love tore down that wall like the Kool-Aid man, oh yeah, and if your name ends with in, time to get out, which roasted Putin before he even rapped. And on that note, Putin has the second best verse, hilarious borscht pun, nice flows, and while it's not necessarily how Putin is now, I think that whole thing is awesome, the whole royale is awesome and iconic, but it did miss out on top 10. Number 10 is the director's royale. Steven Spielberg's Alfred Hitchcock is a better one by a little bit, partially because the visuals are much superior, and that did help. Spielberg gives a verse with a lot of name dropping of films, some are quite clever, I like the Vertigo one a lot, and his verse is just laid back and fun. Then Hitchcock gives an awesome verse, so many good lines, who doesn't love half your billions you go to John Williams, right? Then Tarantino is a fun quirky energy you'd expect, and all of his disses land quite well. Kubrick does not have as many disses, but it's another verse that's true to the director, with some mesmerizing stuff, and I like the line, I'll make you learn to love me on the bomb. And the video references are also good for him. Then we get to Michael Bay. Michael Bay is definitely my favorite part of this battle. It fully embraces what you'd expect from him, it is so much fun, and it has one of the most awesome lines in, got no time to read reviews while I'm working on the sequel. This verse does outshine much of Rasputin vs. Stalin for me, so it got the edge and made the top 10. Number 9 is Zeus vs. Thor. Visually, second best in the series. Let's start with that. Lego is awesome, and the Lego animation here is stunning. Zeus's first verse does have a bit of a low point for the battle, where he makes some comparisons that aren't that great, but they are mildly funny. Fortunately, Thor is here to retort and dominate, with some of the most brutal lines. I love I will drop you like Reese's GDP, the whole abuse of his Zeus's scheme, and a lot of others. The Loki appearance is small but charming, and based on lyrics and sound alone, this might not be top 10, but it would be top 20, and the Legos, coupled with those ruthless Thor disses, make an unbelievable overall package. Number 8 is Babe Ruth vs. Lance Armstrong. This is the best of the one-sided ERBs. Lance Armstrong was brilliant. His verses are still good even now. He's obsolete at this point, but he has some awesome lines, particularly the foul tipping one, and a lot of similar punches that are pretty good. The performance is also quite great with the aggressive energy, but Babe Ruth is definitely the star here. He eviscerates Armstrong. The fact that nearly all of Babe Ruth's lines are mentioned in the top comments section of this video shows how many insane lines he has. I could talk about all of them, but I'll just say my favorite is definitely that closer. You're out with three strikes and just one ball is definitely the best closer in the series, with that smirk at the end being the icing on the cake. Ruth is just insane. One might say ruthless, of course, and he alone earned the battle a very high spot. And I can't believe there's a time I did not have this in my top 10. Number 7 is Harry Potter vs. Luke Skywalker. I mentioned Zeus vs. Thor is the second best visual battle, and this is the best. It's more colorful, more dynamic, and more creative than Zeus vs. Thor, and it's an awesome watch. This is a long 1v1 battle, and there are tons of references. My favorite is probably, I blew up the Death Star, you blew up Aunt Marge. I like Harry, I planted your seed. On one hand, the rebellion, on one hand, await. And of you, this and this is, as well. I will recognize that with how many lines there are, not all of them land. Though I enjoy the majority of the references, and the video services nearly every line, with tons of small easter eggs that add some weight to each one. My favorite visual detail is during the prequel line where Jar Jar Binks is being beaten up, the movie theater backgrounds as it's showing the Phantom Menace, Austin Powers, and the Mummy, which were all out in theaters at the same time. The video is just great, and while the battle is not flawless lyrically I suppose, ERB is YouTube videos at its core, and this is one of my favorite YouTube videos the channel has made. Number 6 is Alexander the Great vs. Ivan the Terrible, definitely the best royale, with all 5 rappers being excellent. Ivan's first verse has great flow, and some strong lines such as creme de la Kremlin's arrive and try to survive and no surviving. The wordplay is good there. And then Zach Sherwin goes crazy. The Alexander the Great performance is awesome. 
the rhyme schemes are some of the series' best, and they set up a very fun story for this royale, leading into Frederick the Great, giving my favorite verse in this one. Not super long, but I had to pause to absorb the awesomeness on first viewing. He doesn't let up with flow, and had some hilarious digs, particularly the one referencing removing people's eyes who designed the Kremlin so it could never be recreated. And then we get a gut-busting bit where he talks right to the camera saying his expectations were higher, and the Pompey appearance is like the Cosby one, except it's not dragged out. There's a reason why people still talk about the Pompey one in other comment sections, but not Cosby. Catherine the Great then gives a nice final two verses. It sounds unique, and she has some awesome lines and cool backup dancers. And there's really nothing I'm going to criticize about this battle. It is an awesome royale. Number 5 is Michael Jackson vs Elvis Presley. I think this is a near perfect battle. It has all the best aspects and ambitions of a good season 4 or 5 one, but it also has that season 2 charm and balances it out with the ruthless lyrics that may not fly today. Bentley Green is a young Michael Jackson delivers an excellent verse, with tons of great lines such as dropping hunks of burning love, shoot you from the waist up, and I love when he says every record you set man I beat it, as a clever reference to a Michael Jackson song. I also like the choreography he does, allowing the cuts between shots to flow super nicely, making it a visually dynamic verse as well. Then Elvis is a also awesome verse. Lloyd nails it. His opening line is hilarious, and he has some crazy lines such as I stole from black culture, why are you offended? Your daddy beagle records out of you like alchemy, and that balcony closer is also quite strong. This leads into adult Michael Jackson, well portrayed by Nice Peter. All of the ad-libs are great, he has some top tier lines such as didn't lose any chocolate, I just added vanilla. It's a great verse. And then Fat Elvis is introduced, which is a funny idea, just like with older Michael. And he has one of the best cutlets in all of ERB, with the you lost your mind, by the cast you in the whiz, like a sad white woman who never got to be a kid. That one is ruthless and clever. I consider this one of the closest ERBs. There is one other that might be closer. Both rappers are so great. This battle fires on all cylinders, and it definitely earned a top 5 spot. Number 4 is the Philosopher 1. This battle is all around really intelligent and such a brilliant concept. I like seeing the sides work together until it's the ideology clash, which you would expect, and it still fits in the rap battle. All philosophers have great energy and lines. I love Ubermensch, the whole Confucius fast part, now the sun's out, the iconic N-I-E-T-Z-S-C-H-E. Timothy Delaghetto, he redeems himself. Nisha and Confucius are probably the best rappers in this one. And the whole battle is entertaining just the whole way through. It's harder to pinpoint the best qualities of this one with Jackson vs Presley, but the whole battle came together to be a hilarious and ruthless battle of philosophy, and it definitely earned another top 5 spot. Number 3 is Theodore Roosevelt vs Winston Churchill. Such an epic battle, living up to the series name. The beat is probably the best of all the battles, the visuals are stellar, Roosevelt might be Epic Lloyd's best performance, and Dan Bull does better as Churchill than he did as Jack the Ripper. The lyrics are excellent. I love how many historic things are referenced. I love Roosevelt opening national parks being mentioned, the whole bully thing, the Panama Canal, Rough Riders, and even ERB Cannon are all referenced for Roosevelt. The battle feels like a debate that really could have happened, and of course the realism of the two rappers adds to this. But it also has some very fun stuff. The background dancers are some of the most hilarious, and the comedy aspects stay on point. My favorite visual detail is when there's a baby Churchill sitting in baby carriage and he pulls a cigar out and puts it in his mouth. Then you have those ending lines, going black and white, slower frame rate, recounting some of their finest quotes, and it is a downright emotional moment. This is an excellent battle. Number 2 is Bill Nye vs Isaac Newton. This might actually be the most underrated ERB, even with Jefferson vs Douglas. But I must confess to a bias, this is the first ERB I saw and I'm a big fan of Weird Al Yankovic. That said, I feel that Isaac Newton might be the best rapper in all of ERB. Weird Al, he is recognizable as the character, but he also does kind of embody Newton with the performance. The arrogance of the lines and deliveries is perfect, and it's worth noting that the verse first, that first one drops nothing but heat. Right from that opening couplet, which pretty much ends nigh before he even gets a chance to rap, I love the rhyme schemes and flows, I like I was born on Christmas, I'm God's gift, I unlock the stars that you're dancing with, it's layered and funny, and I'm in love with that first verse in every regard. Then Bill Nye gives his own great verse. It is weaker, it is some less harsh subject stuff, but the you wrote on gravity and still couldn't attract nobody is still a funny line, and I rap sharp like a needle in your eye is also a very good diss. And so we get to Newton's second verse, an insane segment, 
probably a top five ERB line with the third law of motion one. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, except for when we both start rapping. And the flow on the shadow of the mind one is crazy good. And so we get these two closing lines with A1 rhyme schemes, really impressive stuff, showing a calculus equation. How do you make math that cool? And then Tyson comes in with astrophysics black guy and some other hilarious lines of his own. A good diss against Newton backstabbing and other scientists Leibniz. This is not a top 2 ERB in a lot of ways, but I can't help it. Weird Al is just so insane here, and the writing is so sharp. I think maybe this battle transcends criticism. But number 1 is Steve Jobs vs Bill Gates. This list was the hardest one to make so far, but this is definitely my favorite ERB, and a very clear cut number 1 for me personally. It's a very unique battle. In terms of structure, there's nothing else quite like it. But every decision made lends itself to an entertaining and effective rap battle and YouTube video. Let's analyze this. The opening guy with Jobs jumping right in and the beat dropping is great, in character, and funny. You'll immediately notice that the beat is insanely high energy and fun, and this is the easiest ERB to dance to and play on loop as a result. Then Steve Jobs gets some awesome lines, including the funniest innuendos in the series history. Then Bill Gates comes in with another funny innuendo, and an awesome performance full of aggression. This is the weakest verse in the battle, being the couplet referencing the spinning beach ball particularly, but that one's still funny, it lands well, and these opening verses have strong flexes and disses. Then we come to the parts that really make the battle stand out. The two rappers slow down to trade one blow each, with the Wozniak line being especially awesome, then the beat drops again, and the two debate at Rap World Expo. It's really fascinating to hear that Mac vs PC debate be incorporated into the battle, and it works super well. All the lines are great, particularly though you can still afford a doctor if you bought a PC. It's an awesome rebuttal, and it leads into another highlight of this battle. Jobs says let's talk about doctors I've seen a few, with the insanely clever and somewhat dark and edgy line, I got a PC but it wasn't from you. And then he dies in the battle. This battle was made within a year of Steve Jobs actually dying, so it was a very risky move that paid off. Bill Gates gets a somewhat touching line where he calls Jobs his friend, and now he says he's alone with nobody to compete with him, and therefore, the world is his. But who doesn't love it when he says, I'm a boss, I own DOS? That's also a funny one. And at this point, we get a verse from HAL 9000, showing that the true competition for Gates all along was his own creations. As indicated by the lines, take a look at your history, everything you built leads up to me. This performance is smooth and chilling, and the editing and sound go so hard here. I love all of the lines in this one, with clever uses of Think Different and GNU, then the screen goes black for the pun on Windows Vista, and the battle closes out. The outro plays the funniest ending dance sequence in the whole series, and on first viewing, I was left to just sit there, mesmerized by what I'd just seen. This battle might be perfection. Every aspect is impressive and enjoyable. It is great for a casual listen or a critical analysis. Each verse out does the last, and it remains fun while being somewhat touching at points. I really love this battle. I can understand if it's not your favorite. There's no unanimously best battle for ERB, but I found this was the easiest ranking for me to justify, and it earned its iconic status in high view count. It's just that good. And that was the 17th line I wrote in the script for Steve Jobs vs Bill Gates. That is the full list. Thank you for watching. Comment down below some of your favorite ERBs, and make sure you subscribe for more rap battles and other content. I'll see you next time.